Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfridge. So today I have a new video that I call it BOS Mastery. BOS means break of structure, mastery. I need you to master how or what to do when resistance breaks or support breaks. So many people or many traders, they don't have an idea if the market breaks at resistance, what should I do? So breaking at resistance, of course, it will break with a green candle. Do you think the market will continue to buy and then buy? Like, what do you think? Or do you think the market first will retrace, then again buy? So you need to understand what do you do when a resistance is broken? Another thing, uh, the reverse of that is what do you do when support is broken? Do you think that support, uh, when the support is broken, or what strategy do you use? But then I want to hear from the comment section down below. What do you do when support is broken? Do you wait for retracement? What strategy do you use? Which measures do you use for you for your entries to be smooth and not to be a fake out? Because understand that not every breakout is a strong breakout. Many breakout in, let's say this support breakout can be a fake out and then the next candle can turn to be green. So how do you avoid such fake out? Like this was a fake out. The break, yes, it happened, but it was, uh, the buyers came in and the market went up. But this break on the resistance, it was a continuation. In fact, there was no resistance. So what criteria do you use? First of all, you need to understand not every break that you will be able to get in. For instance, let me look for a market that has um, that has given us a good entry. So like this is a resistance. You can see we have marked this as our resistance. I'm just giving you example with a live market. So we can see break of structure here. The market broke with that like... Um, that candle, you can see we broke. So anyone who was waiting on lower time frame for the price maybe to come to this area for retracement, the market never retraced. In fact, it went up for how many days? One, two, three. So have you ever waited for retracement, but the market buys in the next three days? And that is how many people. So this market bought with 278 pips, guys. 278 pips. The question is, what made this market not to retrace? So let me uh, look for another trade. Uh, you can see here, we have a break of structure. The market broke with this momentum candle. And then in after one day, the market went up. But you can see, guys, the retracement was felt. This is a retracement before the market was coming up. So not always the market will do this retracement not always but how do you how do you position yourself to be able to uh to understand like this is another one uh the market broke this resistance and immediately there was the breaking of the resistance you can see the retracement level so this one we call it retracement so how do you trade? You know, if, you, if you're if you not aware that when resistance breaks, they can be felt a retracement, not always, but retracement can be felt. And how do you trade retracement? That is a question you need to ask yourself. How do you trade retracement? So if we give an example with support zone, let's try to look for support, um, support area. So we, here we have uh, a support area that, was broken you can see the market broke that support but all along we thought this is a retracement but it turned to be a reverse so the market reversed or if at all you could have um you could have figured out maybe the market does uh maybe it it picked this and used the yes it broke this but they used the double bottom uh, to give us a pattern for buy. That is one thing that you use when the break of structure patterns, patterns, guys. So yes, there was a break of structure of this small support, 
but it came and never broke there. And I think that's why the reversal happened. So let's try to see another one before even we get to the video. You can see immediately we had a support break. We were followed by a very strong sell momentum and the market never retraced. The question is, why do you think some markets don't retrace and others do retrace? And I think this video will be able to answer you that. So let me delete everything and get into the video. Today we are using daily time frame. So when you have the daily time frame, you can notice that the market is at um the market is ranging and cannot be able to break this support area. So we have our number one support. And then we have our number two support, even if they have not reached that line. So all of these are attempts to break the support. So when you have so many attempts to break support, what do you do? What do you do when you have so many attempts to break support? You wait either for support to break or you mark out your resistance, uh, your resistance area. Again, don't forget to mark out a zone that can give you a double bottom because I have seen many times, multiple times where a support breaks and you, you are rushing to enter a cell, but it has activated a zone, like a double bottom. Imagine having a support break like that. So we have a support break and then it activates that area. At the end of the day, you cannot be rushing to sell because now we have a new pattern. You need now to open your eyes and be able to trade the double bottom. That is one incident. When your double, uh, when your support area or your resistance area is broken, number one, and I need you to write like in notes, look for any activation. Activation. So we are looking for any activation so that we don't have um we don't have a it's called what a pattern that you're not aware of. So we are looking for any activation. If it's a port break, you look for what for a double bottom activation. If it's um number two, if it's a resistance break. You look for a double top because double top can can form in can form as a result of a resistance break. So having this in mind will really help you because once the break is done, this is what you're looking for. And that's what I teach people. What how do you behave when the, the market keeps printing candles every single day? How have you um organized your strategy? How have you told yourself, like, this is the way I'll be trading? Like, um, how have you organized yourself? So at the end of the day, you need to understand that not everyone, uh, not everyone with the information that I'm giving you. So grab this information because it's for free. You know, uh, you have to do your part. If again, you want to, advance, I have a mentorship program at $400. You can buy that course and it can help you. But if you can't afford, always watch my videos. That's, that's, that's your assignment. Anyway, we know the first thing we look for activation because we don't want to trade a, 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 an idea which it's not there. Number two, uh, look for activation. Number two, what we are looking for after we look for activation, number two, we are looking for patterns. We are looking for patterns confirming, confirming the break. What do I mean by this? If support break, if the market has done, it's like the vice versa, but you will understand. If the market breaks at the support area, already sellers are in control. 
So for you to get a sell uh, opportunity, you need a double top. So there's no way you will enter that sale if you don't have a double top and the vice versa, if resistance breaks. So it seems like a tongue twister, but I'll explain. Resistance break, you will look for a double bottom. So who is in control? Buyers. So you will look for a double bottom. It looks like a tongue twister because it's like the opposite of this. Support break, look for double bottom. And here I've said support break, look for a double top. What I mean, look activation. So if the breaking has not activated your double bottom, how do you enter? You will now interchange and look for a double top. Let me just explain with the chat. So we are waiting for the support area to be broken or resistance area to be broken. And it can be two. It's either the, the resistance or the support. And then the market has not yet broke and then the market breaks. So once the market breaks your resistance, we start with looking for activation. So we are waiting for the market either to activate here so that we can trade, um, we can trade, uh, it's called what? We can trade a double bottom. But if it does not activate, so you will find two things can happen. It's either this market comes to activate the double bottom so that it can go up and um, or it can go up to look for a pattern to support the continuation of a sale. And I think that's the correct explanation. So when it activates the first pattern, which is a double bottom, it wants that's what the fake breakout is all about, because not all breakout will be considered so the one that is considered as fake breakout it activates a new pattern immediately the one that is considered as a real break it will go up to look for a pattern because if it is breaking on the sell side it means sellers are in control so the market will go so here you're thinking the market i would want the market to come and activate this double top and i remember telling you guys you need to point out your zones. So I have pointed out two zones, not being biased because the market can do two things. It can activate the double bottom or it can do a retracement. I have told you the market tends to do so many retracements. So it can do a retracement, tap the double top and then come down. So the question is, what do you do at this, uh, at this uh, area? Like, what do you do? The best question, the best answer to answer that is patient. You need to have patience to know what the market will do. So next, after first day, the market doesn't do much. Next day, it has signs of retracement. The next day, what happens? The market is starting to come up. After one day, the market is almost, you can see, almost activating the zone that we have seen, almost. And here is where I tell people, if you remain on only one time frame, if only your eyes check daily, like, oh, let me just check today what happened, you are lost. So in this case, you'll, go to, you'll flip to four hours to check what is smaller time frame talking about. And when you go to smaller time frame, you'll find the buyers are depleting. So there's more information on four hour rather than daily. And that's why guys, we keep flipping. Daily is trying to show you that the, the, the um, daily is trying to show you, four hour is trying to tell you, hey, buyers are now getting weak. But daily, it's trying to tell you the way everyone is strong. That candle is strong. So uh, you need to keep flipping. So the question you will ask yourself, this candle is seems so big, but on four hour, the momentum has stopped. I have two candles that are spinning top. So if you don't flip on four hour, you will forever be there on the daily waiting for activation on the double top so that you can get a pattern now to sell downside. But now if you get the momentum here is slowing down, you ask yourself, what can make the momentum slow down? And that's where you will find the market for me are possible 
double top. So what they have done, they know majority will be glued on the daily because the break happened on the daily. So majority, it's obvious, they'll be glued on the daily. So already they have activated a pattern. And to see how this pattern is on the daily, we need to, to notice if it is OPT, one pattern on one time frame. Is if it's OPT, even it is more stronger. So I come to the daily time frame, and there is nothing like that. There is no resistance on the daily. So it is OPT. This, these are like this one is giving you confidence to sell. It is telling you now it's time for sale. So you need just to organize your work. Just need to organize your work. So this becomes your neckline. You find, you look for, you look for half. So for those who are my students know uh, how to spot, um, how to spot RBS in a double top. So in this case, we have a very good RBS, meaning when you have an RBS and the market is OPT, that double top is very, very powerful. Don't joke with it, okay? So we have a very, very powerful double top there. And don't forget on the daily, the head broke that support. The whole of this video is to show you how do you enter if BOS happens on support? So which strategy are we using? CSB, CSB strategy. So we are using CSB strategy. And then, so we wait. So we are waiting for a red candle. So we get that indecision red candle. And even if it is indecision, as long as color is red, you put your support area and the market starts to go up and that support area is broken. Imagine how you, that's how you first get your entry. Even if this entry, you want to get it all the way to the where the market broke, it's okay. But I would highly suggest you trade it in bid. So we are getting only 56 on that trade, short position like that. So you enter your trade and after four hours, after another four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours, and the take profit is hit. So when you have the take profit, the market tends to come to the zone, mostly to retrace or to do so many things. Remember, you have a sell confirmation all the way back where the market did a break. But if you want to follow the pattern, it's still okay. And then if you wait for the half, for the neck half to be broken, the half is broken and you are targeting up to there. So it's like you are trading more of a double top than the BOS, it's 36 pips. So the neckline, the, the half is broken and you can see if, don't ever use stop loss at the half because of course they will come to retest back. And I don't want to get into details because this is what is in my course. Once half is broken, you can put other sell orders uh, around the half. You can see after market breaking, the market is retesting half and they have already done that again. And then the neckline guys is broken. So when the neckline is broken, trust me, the market is going this distance. So it's either you wait for the for the retrace, and, and that's why I'm saying, what do you do? The video is, what do you do if, you uh, if the market breaks like that? What do you do, guys? What do you do? Do you sell immediately? So if we attempt to sell immediately, we want to see how far was the retracement. I have taught you what you do. You mark out zones where the market might come near, and let's see what happened when the market broke that. You can see the market went down, came retest, and immediately finished our zone. But the first take profit was, of course, the half. And as you can see, I keep telling people that the market will always come to the half of the distance. So this is what is guaranteed. Finishing the distance is not guaranteed. So you need to go through this video and ask yourself, when the market broke here, how did they retrace? What was used for retracement? So did do I need to go to lower time frame or what is happening? 
And that's how you enter the trade. Even if you entered that trade around here and you said, I'm targeting up to this half like that, already it would have been a very amazing trade. Anyway, guys, if you flip back to daily, what do you think is happening on the daily? The market retraced, never, didn't, it never even went to where you had marked on daily and the market bypassed. So once support is broken, your zones for targeting are double tops and double bottoms. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Help me get to 100K subscribers uh, before April. Thank you and love you. Bye-bye.